Among the Oscar nominees tonight is a documentary focusing on a brutal hate crime in California. What happened next was both unexpected and remarkable. Here's Carter Evans. It was more than 30 years ago that Matt Boger and Tim Zoll first met in the worst possible way. They started beating, punching me first, then kicking me as hard as they could in order to get me down to the ground. Matt was a street kid, just 15, disowned by his mother for being gay. Tim was a neo-Nazi skinhead. I remember looking at that mohawk in those eyes. I kicked him in the forehead and he was out. Their story is chronicled in an Oscar-nominated documentary short called Facing Fear. You know, I went through most of my life thinking that, that, that I had killed this person. I still am struck by the fact that we're all sitting here together. I think <laughs> we're struck by it too sometimes. Yeah. Um, this just seems surreal. What brought them together was a chance meeting at the L.A. Museum of Tolerance. Matt worked there. Tim had been feeling... Fear, guilt, yeah. So there was something in you brewing. Yeah. For a long time. There was a conscience that was trying to get out, I guess. <laughs> it just took a while. Yeah. 25 years is what it took. And when Matt realized who he was talking to... There was a numbness. I think every emotion in my body shut off. Now, their message of forgiveness is being shown in classrooms like this one in Long Beach, California. I don't know if I could forgive somebody the way he's been able to forgive me. If they could make peace with the past... Jewish, gay, they were the enemy. So could anyone. All we ever wanted was people to have a conversation about subjects that they normally would not open up to having. And talk they did. Did your mom kick you out just because you were gay? Yes. It was only because of my sexuality. Is it frustrating at all to know that as much effort you've put into yourself, that it's still going to continue? Yeah, it's frustrating. You can't shake the hate out of anybody. All we can do is plant the seed, and that's all I can do. But do you think you made an impression? Absolutely. You can see in their eyes that it's, it's going in. One more thing that Tim and Matt are hoping sinks in, that growing up, the neo-Nazi and the gay teenager came from similar suburban middle-class backgrounds. But it led you in such different directions. Yes. Oh. But at the same time, it brought you together. Yeah. Right. And it almost killed you. Yes. Yeah. For you to find it in your heart to be able to forgive someone for hurting you that bad is like, it's amazing. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.